my dear succulent friends, welcome to my channel, The Way to Succulents. I'm Wei, as always, I would love to share my way of being succulents with you. As I promised, today I would definitely report the agave. It's originally found from Mexico, like you know, a majority of this type of agave, they are from Mexico. And some of them actually were found at really high altitude, which is about 3. 1300 meters above the sea level so that's why they are hardy it's not hardy enough for you to leave them outdoor in the winter time especially you live somewhere like i do i live in wisconsin join five and you may say oh if i live in the u.s what's the lowest temperature it can bear if you live in zone 6 a plus you are fine you can leave this plant out otherwise take them in you say oh i have no idea i don't live in the u.s what's the standard in another word, when the temperature go down to minus 10 degrees centigrade, we need to take this type of agave back. Okay, and let's have a look what happened two days ago. With the help of my husband, we got this mother plant out of the pot. You may see why you want to take it out of the pot. What happened is underneath her, there are babies growing look these babies are growing and they are kind of like going against each other that's not good for their growing so in that situation if you see the babies you'd better move them out otherwise they will hurt each other what happened is you see all of them are not in really good shape now because they are under the mother leaf. The mother leaf, you know, is really thick, heavy. In order to give our plants a healthy environment, we need to repot them. That's what we did. We used the gravity. Do you remember? If you watch the video, you understand it better. We used the gravity. We turned the pot upside down. And then uh, let the agave fall. It wouldn't damage the plant because it's soft enough. If it falls onto the concrete floor, it will damage the plant. This is the original pot. It's a beautiful one, but the problem is it's deep, but it's not shallow and big enough. So in that situation, I need to choose a bigger planter, a cellular planter. For me, I like to use cellular planters for succulents, because in that situation, they will give them better space. So especially for the rosette one, for the rosette one, you know, the shallower and then the, the bigger by diameter, the better for the plants. So I chose this one here. Have a look. It's bigger than the original pot, but it's much shallower. And what I do is uh, this soil is the same soil, similar, not exactly the same, the similar soil of this agave. It was first living in. And uh, I will get rid of this soil. And because these agave, they were first found the limestone cliff, they were growing there. So the living environment is uh, the better the drainage is, uh, the happier they are. So what I will do is uh, I will add loads of gravel at the bottom of the pot. Let's keep going. You can use all different types of gravels. Uh, for me right now, lava rock is handy, so that's why I use these lava rocks. And then look at these lava rocks in. And then what I do is uh, I will collect the original soil back from the big pot where I dropped the mother plant in. So in that situation, if you use the same soil, it's not shocked. So it wouldn't take a long time for them to get used to the new environment, even if you add some gravels. It's good for them. Another thing is, like I always mentioned, no matter whether you buy online or you buy from the local nursery, I would always suggest you to ask them whether they have the soil, what they use for the succulents. If they do have the same soil, you can buy some from them. So. When you do the repotting, you can just add some soil instead of get rid of the original soil directly. So the plants don't need a big long time to get used to the new environment, which is really good for them. 
after a thick layer of soil, that is what they need for growing, I would add another layer of these gravels. Yeah, my planters, I mean, my plants in the pot, they are never ever light because I use a lot of gravels. In that situation, I just want to compose a really, really healthy drainage system for them. So they wouldn't have the root wouldn't rot. If the root rot, there is really low chance for you to save them anymore. I will go around a little bit because the soil will kind of scattered in the big pot. See, that is the big pot. The soil bag that we use to drop the agave. And you see, this is the agave original soil. And this is the soil we used to plant some other plants in this place before. But this year, what I will do is I will just replace with the gravels and the succulents soil and then just plant succulents in this pot. Okay, let's keep going with adding some soil in. You may say, why, why you are wearing a tight and a wrinkled? Because the weather forecast says it's supposed to rain today and then uh, I'm waiting. I move all my succulents out and just uh, let the water, let the rain to water them for me. But so far, still not rain, which is actually good. Because I took the chance to build a temporary greenhouse. Later I will show you maybe in another video. I haven't done it yet, but it is really something I think I would love to share with you. You can uh, take it, uh, take the idea. I use the shelves and then uh, I will cover it with plastic. So I have both things uh, like uh, the greenhouse, uh, plastic wall, and then the shelf to put your plant. And it's only 500 bucks. That's all. It's quite a big one. Okay, I will save it for the next video. Let's keep going. So now it's kind of a good height. I mean, yes, it's a good height for the succulents to go in. But, 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 I would add a little bit more soil because I don't want the leaves, especially the bottom leaves, touch the soil directly. Because if it touch the soil directly, if someone come over and water it, they don't know. They may water them a lot. For agaves, remember, the demanding for the water is 2 out of 5. 2 only, 2 out of 5. That's why I add so many gravels. So in that situation, if I water, the water would go in and then go out quickly. The succulents would take a really short time to absorb the water. That's what they need. For some of type of the succulents, you may say, oh, you may don't want to put that many gravels because they do need more water than this guy. Oh, heavy. The funny thing is, you know, for this type of agaves, look at the roots. It's not like a big stem roots at all. It's really tiny, tiny roots. That's majority of the succulents are like this, with like, like a tiny, tiny roots, a tiny thin roots. Not really like a thick roots, like we, we would imagine a lot of plants would be like this. I put this plant in and now I will cover the mother root with a layer of soil. That is the nutrition part they need. Uh, a fan of mine wrote to me today and asked me about uh, when to fertilize uh, these uh, succulents and what type of fertilizers we would use uh, to fertilize the succulents. I will make another video and give you the details about what type of things and uh, what's the tips. So if you like the video, please follow me, subscribe the channel. And if you have friends or family who love succulents, and then welcome to share my video with them. Thank you so much. Ooh, it's getting a bit cooler. But I've already finished two big projects of the day, and I'm quite happy. Ooh, these leaves. The special thing about these agave's leaves is they are so thick with the pointy teeth along the 
along the edge, along the margin of the leaf, and a really, really sharp spike. By the end, when you deal wear gloves, it's really, really easy. You will get hurt. I already get hurt by these agaves several times. I have like uh, maybe six different types of agaves right now. It's agave, the white eyed agave, which is called agave Victoria. My husband shot is the queen agave. No, it's the mini version of her. But the, the queen one look awesome. I would love to have a queen one one day, but not now. I already spent like loads of time taking care of them. How about you? How many hours did you spend with uh, taking care of your succulents? I guess quite a lot as well. Even though these plants, they are not the demanding plants. We human beings just couldn't stop ourselves from taking care of them. It's because we love them so much. At least I couldn't stop myself. The first thing in the morning, you know, when I got up, when my husband is still asleep, I just uh, went downstairs uh, to the garden room and then uh, spent time with them directly. And my husband joked about, oh, you love them more than me. <laughs> no, I love them both. Oh, it's getting heavier. I try to collect the original soil because I don't want to use the pot soil, the soil bed soil, which is not really for succulents. How big it will grow? Uh, it wouldn't grow really tall. It will grow around the 18 inches, which is around the 45 centimeters uh, by height. And uh, you know, some instruction size, uh, it would grow around the same size by cross, by diameter. But obviously, uh, my, this one is already bigger than uh, 18 inches or 45 centimeters across. This guy is around six years old, six plus. And like a majority of the agaves, what happened to them? They are the monocarpic plant. For their whole life, they only flower once. It is that she will have a flower stalk up to 20 feet, which is around six meters. Isn't that amazing? And you may see when that will be. It's also called a century plant, so some of them may take a short time, maybe they don't live long. 8 years, 15 years, they start giving you flower and after flower they die. Some of them, it's not until they are 80, they may still not give you flower. It depends. You may say, oh, what if the mother plant died? What can I get? The good thing is these guys would give you a lot of oxides during their life. Ow! I did hurt myself. Ow. Oh. oh my god, oh my god. You may say, why they grow like this? Because in the wild, you know, there are a lot of predators in order to stop themselves being injured or eaten or hurt by their predators. They have these sharp, sharp teeth and then the sharp, sharp spike at the end. Ooh, that's really painful. Okay, I forgive you. It's because I love you so much. You know, they give you a lot of offsides. That's one way of their propagation. Another way for their propagation is uh, after flower, you can collect the seeds. And the planted seeds, you will have new baby plants. You will start the whole life cycle of the agaves all over again. They are amazing plants. They can be used for many things. There is one way to say is you just name one. For example, look at this is the dead leaf at the bottom. That's the fiber after it's dry. In the old times, they used them to make ropes. And they also used them to make weaving fabrics. Of course, you know agave is the ingredients to make tequila. Tequila. I don't drink alcohol, so maybe I didn't pronounce it well. Please, please forgive me. And they also use them to make sugar. The sap actually is really, really, it's toxic. So when you touch it with skin, you will have like a skin irritation. But 
the local people. They just find the way to deal with them, and they cut it, and they make uh, sugar out of the sap. And it's, this type of sugar is good for diabetic people because it's not like a sugar cane sugar. So it's much healthier. Some people also put this sugar in their cereal for breakfast. That's quite cool too. I will pour her up, up a bit. I the more gravels. That's really, really, really important. In that situation, the bottom leaves don't touch the soil directly. If, if there are any like a mini bugs or scales, this type of uh, pest, they couldn't hide. They wouldn't. You will stop them to compose an environment for these uh, pests. Uh. Okay, the last bit. If you can kill an agave, that means uh, do not grow succulents. If some people ask me, wait, what's your favorite succulent? This is one of them, I must say. I'm so happy I get her, and uh, she actually is considered to be one of the most beautiful one, even in the agave family. Isn't that amazing? Okay, and uh, the mother plant is done. Now I need to deal with the baby plants. For the baby plants, like I said, this guy, it was because it stuck in the pot, didn't get any sun, so that's why that is so long. Otherwise, it should be just look like uh, this one. So you can see the difference. It struggled all the way and tried to grow out of the pot to the surface. I need to break it into two pieces. I will let this piece fully colored and see whether I can propagate one piece from her. Because sometimes people say you can do it this way, that way, and then uh, if you don't try the third way, you don't know. Let's keep going with uh, planting this baby plant. Since it's not raining, I can take off my hat. Why didn't I? Oh, okay. Keep my head warm and put it back on. That is the big bag of soil I bought uh, from the nursery. And then now uh, what I do is uh, for the beginning of uh, them, I don't give them beautiful plants. Uh, I will use this uh, plastic one. It's much cheaper. And then uh, I will coat it uh, with uh, some ropes uh, or some other decoration, like uh, one of the videos I shared about how to make a jacket for the succulent uh, planter. The pots, like this type of pots, uh, you can go back and find it. And now what I do is uh, the same. Get a big amount of the rivals at the bottom. And now I the soil. Let's keep going. This is a good one because the root is not like others uh, growing crazy, struggle their way. And uh, this is uh, the healthy, the normal size of the root for a succulent. I couldn't find my uh, sour, little baby sour, so I will use a seeds, uh, whatever handy. And then uh, make a way in, get the root fully covered. Okay, it looks like it's stable and centered. If now, what I will do is add another layer of gravels on the top. And this time I would like to use some smaller one. One month later, what does it look like? I would like to show you another one. This is the one I just show you. I uh, break the top long part, and then the root is is healthy. Let's plant it and see what it will give us. Is it healthy or not? First, the gravels in again, and then soils in. And now, the baby agave in. 
make sure you bury the roots uh, even though they are long and they are you know crazy they want uh, freedom you have to give them the nutrition let them grow i love oysters that's my oyster style i can use it as a tool i grab some more soil and put on the surface because i really want to bury the roots don't worry you can cut some of the thin roots a couple of them it wouldn't hurt and uh, okay grab a top that's the second type of these babies i will show you a third type of the baby because it's stressed and grow underneath the pot so there are many possibilities for them yay the second one the third one is what the third one is this guy here look at her this one i can cut it off And then these long roots, I can cut it a little bit and some of the side roots. Because this long one, this long thick one, is not really roots. It's uh, when it's underneath the soil, underneath the mother plant, it struggled its way to grow up. So the step, uh, that is the final of repotting the mother. But it's not the root of her babies. So that's why I can cut it I'm looking forward to see. A the big change in a couple of weeks. And then soil. Not much soil. Today, one person is asking about uh, like uh, she's turning a tub, a bus tub to a planter. And she asked, oh my god, how much, uh, how many uh, succulent soil I need to put in the tub? You don't need to put a lot of soil in a, a planter. The thing is, uh, you can put a lot of gravels and then soil and then gravel. It's a good combination, which is good for the plants. So don't worry about like it's a big cost for succulents growing. It's not. I didn't spend a lot of money with growing these succulents because my method is the right way. So I can use this money to buy more succulents. I hate myself. Oh. I find it that that tool is really really useful. I think that's another reason why I love oyster. It's a bit tilting, so I need to correct her. Oh, is this that raining? Kind of. Thank you guys for watching my video. Like I always, I would love to share my way of doing succulents with you. Please subscribe the channel and share my videos with your friends and family. Have a nice day. And I will introduce you more different ways of growing succulents, like when and how to fertilize them. Bye for now. Look, that is the final repotting the mother of her babies. I'm looking forward to see a big change in a couple of weeks.